Well, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Ammo, Age of Sail, version 9.17, revised 35808. Playing the uh, British campaign on hard land and sea. Put my name in here and took this portrait. And the next battle is priority. I always keep this, the difficulty and follow the orders. Let's go ahead and get right into it. This one's a red zone battle. Um, hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put in the reader. Mercedes. And I'm going to go with the transport. It's got two units on it. And we got a red zone, and this is going to be probably tough. Let's see. The recaptured merchant is carrying a vital. Okay, yep. Oh, this is the storm one. Heavy rain, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, the, okay, yeah, this one. I remember this one. Um. I remember sometimes ships would just flip over and sink. So, I mean, this, this one is kind of, can be really tricky. Now, let's see, did they scale up? Um, I'm wondering, if, are they, are they the ships like Mercedes or are they the ships like the Santa Rita? I don't know, let's see, but anyways. We're gonna, like I said, with these like waves and stuff, you know, the ship might flip. I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna break break that, and I'm gonna I am gonna go full sail for now, and I am gonna head that way for speed, and this ship needs to go that way also, I guess, full speed. Now, Walpole, you need to go to the red zone. And I think, like, right along here, maybe, if you can go straight a that way without flipping. Because if this ship flips, um, you know, it's a lost battle. And now the transport. I'm going to anchor it for just a moment, and I'm going to drop off the two uh, fusilier units. Alright, and let's get going here. High speed. Yeah, well, okay. Alright, and so now this one can head that way also, because I won't be able to use that ship. So these two are going to be the slowest ships in the whole fleet. Now, I did not tell you to anchor. Man, I hate that when the ships try to link each other. When you give one an order, the others take it. When I broke them up. So, I mean, that right there is already something that goofed up. All right, so now I'm going to have these guys' lifeboat. Hopefully they won't flip over, but... Let's see. All right. Now, yeah, now maybe I could even go like this and let him come to me. So why don't I do that? Oh, but now my arc goes. Okay. a lot of missed shots. All right, now you're going to have to get moving again. Now 
let's go see if we can get this one. Anchor. Nah, you gotta come up that way. Okay, yes, we are boarding, so that's what I wanted. Now, I'm gonna need... My plan is to put the fuselers onto that ship. Now, if this one can get over here... And help out... Okay, so this is the first part that I'm that I am happy about. I think if if as long as this happens, yeah, we we need to anchor. Yeah. And now you got to get up here to protect. Hurry, and you're gonna go that one. Because what he would do is come over here and shoot me in the rear. Okay, so... Well, I guess I'll drop out... Oh, wait a minute. Can I get on this ship? Let me see. Alright, so this one here, um, we're going to see if we can get the board and go in there and I'll have this one move over here. Because this one right here needs to get this ship. If I could put a hundred on, that would be really cool. It, it didn't say I couldn't do it, so let's see. I just gotta hurry up and get that ship so I can get this one moving. I, I don't want to move it quite yet. All right, and then they're boarding. Excellent. Oh no, if let's see. Yeah, yeah I'm on it. All right, excellent. So now I can move this ship right over here to shoot at that one. And then I can get this one on here. All right, I'm gonna pause for just a moment. I, I did, yeah, he, they got on it. Excellent. All right, so that means I can take their own ship. Oh, come on, don't do that to me. Ugh. Boy, I hate it when it does that. Alright, so at least now I can get this one moving also. I want you to just, yeah, move off over there. And uh, Mercedes, you're anchored, so let's just go ahead and... Yeah, man. That was a good plan, I think, of having those Marines come... Oh, not Marines, Fuselers come along with me. Because if I would have taken... If I didn't do that, and say I brought that little cutter or whatever it is that I got back there at the harbor, 
you know, taking over these guys, I would be depleting my ships. So by using these, um, that really helped out. Now he may take this, but again, so the Libra, I think I'm gonna move the Libra to over here. Santa can get right over to there. And Mercedes can still anchor. And I think I'm even gonna anchor this ship right here. Now, this is going to be a little cluster at the moment, but... Okay, so now with the Libra, I think maybe right about there, you can then shoot at this one. Hit him. Now what happened? The Santa Rita starts boarding. Oh, okay, phew, I thought something serious happened. <laughs> All right, like I said, Mercedes, you need to start going over here too. And you, I hope, are just hanging there. Yeah. You can shoot him. Maybe I'll just anchor the Libra to be able to shoot. So if I can get the Mercedes like over here. And like I said, we we gotta hope no ship flips, but And matter of fact, you know what I'm thinking? If I just anchor these two, if I just anchor these two, um, that way I don't take a chance of them getting on a on a on a wave or something and flipping, and then instantly lose this. Seeing that I already captured two of their ships, I'm in the process of third one. do this just right. Let me see. Yeah, you're going to have to move a little bit too. So I'll need both of these to try to get this one. I don't think one could do it alone. Okay, got that one. And that means, yeah, see, like I said, I want to end this and it won't let me, so Santa, just get going over there. It's the only way to break that. All right, now, can we go to this? Yeah, you just go right there and stop for a moment. You cut in. I think what we can do is try to get this one to board. 
and try to get um, this one to board. And if he can get right here or thereabouts, he should be able to shoot that one. And I think this would be a done deal as long as these guys don't flip. So let's go ahead and see. But I think it's vital that I need both ships to close in on him. Yeah, I'm going to say anchor for you. And maybe I can say anchor for you too. Let's go. And if we just kind of like, yeah, like... Even with this close contact between the two. And Libra, I might have to have you just go like that. Because I, I, I really would like... Alright, yes, so you don't have to necessarily get to the red zone if you can take out their fleet. Okay, so that worked out. Yes, I'm happy. Alright, that was nice. I'm not trying to brag on myself, but what I'm saying is um, it, it worked according to what I had planned with that transport ship with those two fusilier units. That really worked out. So, alright. So basically I had uh, five ships. Like I don't think I, wait a minute, I didn't stop with five ships. Did I? Okay, they had the wall pole. And I thought I only brought three. That would be four ships. Oh, I don't know. I must be reading this wrong or something. I don't know. Maybe you can point it out to me, but overall it looks like I just lost 196 of my 651. Like, I didn't bring four ships in this, right? I had the two warships and the transport, three, and then the wall pole. That's four. It shouldn't be five. I don't know. Kind of confusing. And it's saying that they had eight ships, like. They only had four that I saw. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what the heck this means. Okay, so anyways, either way, I know I captured four ships. So 480. Like, I don't know. Maybe they have other ships somewhere else near the red zone that would pop out before that ship gets to the red zone. So luckily, if you just wipe out the four, that ends the mission. So, all right. I'm happy with that. These were 26 gunships. But, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why that, that report was a little confusing to me, but hey, let's look at the um, promotions. So, to a commander, to a sub lieutenant and a, another commander so that is really good and like I said I got four ships out of it so I might be able to add one or two to my fleet I, I should be able to at least add one I would think not much on the weapons but oh well all right well that was uh that one like I said it's a storm so I mean I remember playing in these where, where some ships would flip over and stuff, and you lost it. But anyways, let's repair. Only 28 bucks. 50 more. Yeah, see, I mean, I, I that, that, that was only three. I only had three ships. I did not bring this one in. It was I could only put in three, so I put I put in these two and that. Somehow it said I had five. Uh, I, I I don't get how that was, but anyways. All right. Well, um, 
I do have a point, so I'm going to have to think about that or where I want that point. But that was priority. So we got that amount of money, that, and one career point. And I don't really have to save because it gives you a victory save, which would put me at the point before I repaired those ships. But because I did repair those ships, I put in my own save. Ah. And this way, if I make, you know, if I decide to do something, whatever, wrong or something, I can reload. But now I gotta think about this for a minute. I could put another one in luck when I get to the point of interest. But right now I still have one more battle. And maybe um, to make money um, on sales and purchases, maybe I could put one here. Or do I try to get my crew trained up? Which, like I said in the American campaign, that worked out really good by just having two in here for quite a while. Um, or do I want the, the um, rep? Or do I usually max out this first? Um, and then about tech, making tech easier. But um, hmm. it's, really, it's really tough. Um, as much as I like the crew one, I think I have to always purchase weapons and sales and selling stuff. So, I, 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 yeah, I'm thinking money-wise, I'm going to go there for right now. So that's where I did that. So that means I got to get back over here. And I actually got to see... Uh, oh yeah, this is a land battle. This one. Right. And I can put in four ships. So that's what I need to think about. Oh, and I got the four trophies to decide on those. So let me go ahead and figure out which of these trophies are more damaged? Well, maybe. This one's only... It's got more sail damage. This one has both. Oh, I'm only getting two for these ships? Oh, these are seventh-rate snows. That's what those were. Yeah, we only get two? So I don't even think I'll be able to add one of those to my fleet. And the maintenance is 174, so that's about two, four, six hundred. I mean, it's not bad if I just sit on it, right? And get more rep to eventually add one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna sell. And I still don't have enough. Okay, but you know what? I'm only losing $174 per turn with that. So meaning if I keep it, I'm just going to next turn, I'll just lose $174 for maintenance. 
And then maybe after the next battle, I'll have enough rep to get this. That's the way, yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, I think that's what I'll end up doing. Sorry that I'm a, I sound a little dis... No, uh, you know, I, I can't make up my mind, but... Um, it's a land battle coming up, so I need four ships. So one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and, well, we already have a perk. Now land pattern, let's see. Yeah, we do have these. Yeah, so here, here I am from the backer build. That's my name because I early back them. So I'm here. And like I said, I think you only get into this like 10% of the time of campaigns. So most campaigns I'm never in the game and that's why I made myself the officer when I started the game. So anyways, because you can do that. All right. It's going to cost me that amount of money to keep this and get him to 175. Now that bumps that up. So let's see if we can do the same here. We can actually go to 195. So maybe I can go to 180. Oh, and I get a perk, all right. Well, we, we'll go to accuracy. And that means I can get him to One eighty. Oh, good, and I get a perk. All right. And he's already at max that he can be at. So I think maybe I can go. I'll just go to one ninety. And I can get the last per perfect. Yeah, we'll do this one here. There we go. All right, so that's the max that I can do with the uh, transport. Now notice I only got that amount of money left. So I think that's the best that I can do. Now I would lose I would lose some experience, but I would save money. Now how much would it cost? Yeah, look, cuz if I keep the experience, I have to spend 5,000. So I think I'm going to give it up. Hey, and uh, Mercedes got a perk. Nice. Keep that.
So if I give up some XP, Yeah, I could get them to 200. And I probably should have, you know, yeah, because I don't have any more money. So that's going to be about it then, I think. Unless I sell something, let me see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I won't be able to do anything because this one has the the bayonet, and it's only fourteen left. And is it fourteen that I own or no? It's 10 that I own, and so I could, if I had the money, I could put 10, but, yeah, so I'm only going to be able to put three ships into this battle. I ain't going to be able to put that in. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. I tried. Yeah, I don't think it'd be worth putting in this ship because it only has 35 guys. It's already at minimum, so therefore I wouldn't be able to pull anybody off it. So yeah, I'll only go in with the 200, the 195, and the, these two. So I think in that battle they give you some um, allies too, so I'm not going to be too worried about it. Well, anyways... That's all that I could do in this. Um, it was a nice little battle. At least it went the way I wanted it to go, I guess, I would say. So anyways, wherever you are in the world, have a great day, great afternoon, great morning, great evening. God bless you in your own religion. Be kind to each other. This is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.